Good morning, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me on actually quite a nice Saturday morning in the Peak District. I'm out for, I call this a social ride because it is, but I'm 10 minutes up the road because the lads climbed too fast for me. And Wayne knows that I was coming out today and he's planned a hilly route by a nasty guy. <clears throat> Note to self, I remember that in, uh, in summer when I'm in great shape, no mercy. Anyway, so 50 odd miles, cafe stop in Matlock. I'm pressing on a bit to be honest because I, I do want to get a good workout in. And a 10 minute gap sounds massive, but it's not actually very big when I'm groveling up these hills. It's really warm actually, it's off 10, 11 degrees Celsius. So I'm overdressed, I'm sweating, but I keep cracking and get to the cat. <laughs> there's a little loop on the route and i'm just going to the end of it and they've just got to the start of it it's only about a mile i need to keep pushing quintana shouted something at me i assume it was abusive oh i'm an hour and a quarter in i've ridden 16 miles normalized 225 watts i'm just not moving very fast oh dear Oh, just another thing I love about the Peak District. It can be forecast bone dry and you still get wet. You've only got to get up a few hundred feet elevation. It's like a completely different climate. Hope it doesn't get any heavier. Wayne, good morning. Good morning. I have three, well, we'll take it as complaints if you like, but three pieces of feedback for you this morning. Firstly, too many hills in the first part of that route. I felt like all I was doing was climbing. All right, that's a complaint from you. Yeah, if all next right. time you could just amend that so it's not quite as heavy, that'd be great. It did rain a bit as well, yep. no which way. wasn't on the forecast. I really appreciate that, that's, uh, yeah. that's my, my fault. Yeah, the final thing is the biggest thing. Um, when I've started shifting, I'm getting an occasional squeak when I'm shifting. Yeah. And I'm, my bike, this beautiful pink piece of machine, has never done that, whereas your bike does it all the time. Yeah. So it can only have caught no, it. No, it doesn't do it today. It's jockey wheels. Is it? Yeah, jockey wheels. It's sorted. If you'd have rode with us today, you'd have known. <laughs> well, I did ride with you about 25 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's one more hill waiting after this cafe. That's another one. Why is there a hill after the cafe stop? I know a flat route back from here. Yeah, it's, it's a nice flat route as well, isn't it? Anyway, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm going away tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sort of running race going off in this part. This bloke's just been come leathering around and just shouting at Wayne, which way? Because it looks like a marshal. <laughs> oh dear. If you're going to be winning a race, look at what the route is before you start. That's why I always have to load the road the route of mine bike computer so I'm always off the front. Okay then, ride done and dusted. I didn't go with the guys after the cafe. Wayne had really nastily planned in some more hills after the cafe. So I just went, I came straight back. I needed to get back anyway for a haircut. Thanks for noticing. Getting some currency and just carrying on packing, etc., washing bikes and all that jazz because it is not many hours until bedtime. We're setting off at stupid o'clock tomorrow morning. So three hours done and dusted. Normalized power, 229 watts. Average heart rate, 129. I'd call that like a strong aerobic ride for me. Like it felt like I was, you know, pushing the whole way, not just, you know, dilly dallying along like it was a, although I wasn't moving very fast, I was like pressing other pedals consistently and, you know, getting a good training ride in. I've done nine hours of riding this week so far and two sessions, so that's a good week on the bike for me, especially going into, we'll probably get an hour or two done tomorrow, so I'll be up to sort of 10, 11 hours leading into a big training week. That's a, that's a solid week. I'm happy with that for me. Um, I'm going to end today's video here, but please do let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything specific you'd like me to do video-wise in Calpe. Don't say, get the Call the Rats KOM. That won't happen. I will give it a go, though. And, um, I've already got uh, down to do... Uh, I'm going to do some sort of bike packing video on the way back, as in putting my bike in a box, not sleeping in a hedge bottom. 
Uh, if there's anything else you think uh, you'd like to see, let me know. I've planned one rest slash easy day halfway through the week, which we're then going to do an open water swim on. But then there is forecast to be one bad weather day at the minute. It could all change when it comes around, but I could potentially have another day in which I can do some more video stuff rather than just riding my bike all week. In terms of training, that's all I've really got planned. One open water swim and mainly just riding my bike all week. But I'll cover this when we're when we're out there so thank you very much for watching if you haven't already like subscribe comment all that jazz thank you very much for following along i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock where we're going to be going i don't know if i've mentioned it got on a cycling trip see you there